But Lauren Toms joins me now. And Lauren, it's gotten so bad that the governor is getting involved again. Yeah, now for the second time in six months, Devin, in August, he sent six CHP officers to Oakland, and now he's sending 20 times that amount. The governor says he is hoping to build off some of the success a similar deployment had just across the bay in San Francisco. I think there's a strong message from all of us. Number one, uh, we want to make sure that, you know, people are committing crimes. There has to be consequences. OPD crime stats show a 37 percent spike in robberies and a 27 percent increase in burglaries in 2023 compared to 2022. They just look around all the time and then they see PD leaves for a second and then that's when they take the chance. It was enough to prompt the local in and out to announce its first restaurant closure ever. And the nearby Denny's that closed just last week because of crime already looks like it's been abandoned for years. The Oakland Airport, the Hagenberger 98th area corridor is a gateway into the East Bay. And we have got to invest more and have dedicated regional statewide collaboration on how we are going to support and strengthen that corridor. The CHP deployment is not only meant to help local agencies track down criminals, but also to deter more from jumping on the bandwagon. If you have extra resources, it prevent people from making those decisions. Uh, and especially in our in our city where people sense that uh, it's a free for all. But not all are welcoming the additional forces. Kat Brooks with the Anti-Police Terror Project says the surge of crime is wrong, but an influx of officers could backfire on Oakland's own citizens. It's going to be 120 officers, and I guarantee you it's going to be a lot more violence against our community members. It is more police presence, more unnecessary contact between our communities and law enforcement, more police violence. All right, so my question is, is it just the benefit of more officers, or are there some things that the CHP can do or perhaps do better than Oakland police? So yes and yes. Now, CHP has really broad powers across the state, and among those 120 officers, we can expect to see some narcotics officers, some canine units as well. Now, remember, OPD has a no-chase policy, a pretty strictly enforced no-chase policy that does not apply to CHP officers. So a lot of those pursuits that we don't see right now in Oakland to go after some of those thieves we might now see under the CHP patrol. And, and just, just the obvious benefit of those additional 120 officers on the street policing those areas. Thank you so much.